Hello everyone, it's Vinya and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing things a little differently. We're just gonna sit down and address some of your questions from my previous videos when it comes to moving to Baguio, living in Baguio, the rent, how much it costs, the moving process. We're gonna address all that here. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we have some notes here and I think even before apartment hunting, it's important to have your list. It's important to know what are your non-negotiables. Like yung location. Location is very important. Kailangan ba walking distance ka lang to everything? Or how big the place should be? Okay ka na ba sa studio? And if you will be living with other people, how many people can you actually be able to live with? So these are things that you need to consider as well. And of course, your budget. It's important to know what your budget is and to be able to prepare the maximum that they can ask from you is one month advance and two months deposit. So it's important to prepare that bago pa tayo mag-start ng apartment hunting. Okay, now into apartment hunting. So there are three types of properties that you can stay here. The most common are dormitories, tapos merong apartment or houses. Then there are also condominiums. And we're gonna break down each of its pros and cons. And let's start with dorms. Okay, so the first option you have is dorms. And the good thing about dorms is sobrang dami niya dito ang available. Kasi sobrang dami rin students and universities available that people from the northern region talagang pumupunta sila sa Baguio to study college or even high school. So the price range for dorms are usually around 2,500 to 15,000 depending on the location, the number of people, as well as kung included na ba yung utilities, Wi-Fi, and things like that. The good thing about dorms, as I said earlier, is sobrang daming available. But also, sobrang grabe ang competition, lalo na yung mga mas malalapit sa mga schools. Another good thing about dorms is that it is secure because there will be guards and securities available. As well as a lot of dorms already have like your shared kitchen or most of the time included during yung utilities than sa rent. So those are things that you no longer have to worry about. Just some downsides when it comes to dorms is of course there's the no visitors allowed more often than not. Then of course meron kang curfew. And very limited lang yung gamit na madadala mo because usually with dorms, meron na silang beds and tables. But that could also be a good thing if you don't really have the things yet to bring with you. Another thing with dorms is that minsan merong mga shared kitchen but sometimes may mga dorms na hindi pwedeng magluto. So that's a factor for you to consider but also if you're living alone naman, I think it's okay to just buy your food outside, eat outside and mas makakatipid ka pa if you think about it. Now, when it comes to apartments naman, with apartments, there's a lot of freedom. But apartments can be hard to find, at least a good apartment. I found some I found some apartments na malapit sa center. Kaso, uh, marami sa kanila ay luma na hindi na sila well-maintained. Pero mahal pa rin sila kasi nga malapit sila sa center. So there are a lot of apartments na magaganda ka. So ayun nga, malayo siya. So you have to consider things like accessibility na lang niya sa jeepney line. Tapos kung accessible ba siya sa malapit na market, sa malapit na water, or malapit na laundry. Those are the things that I always look at when looking at place to stay. I always ask them if paano niyo po kinukuha yung um, mineral water nyo, then saan po kayo nagpapa laundry. Then, one thing I learned about Baguio is that because usually when it comes to apartments, hindi kasama dun yung utilities, um, different places in Baguio, like different barangays, I would say, um, iba-iba yung presyo ng water nila. So, iba-iba yung presyo niya per cubic meter. So, those are things that you should also ask kasi I asked in one area Tapos, sobrang mahal daw ng tubig doon. Like, kuryente, walang problema. Kasi here in Baguio naman, usually when it comes to electricity, parang ako, hindi pa ako lumalagpas ng 600. Laging around 500 lang yung electricity ko. Kasi lagi lang naman lights, tapos pag-charge ng gadgets, and there's my fridge. Pero, 
um, overall, matipid yung electricity. Pero ayun nga, when it comes to water, some places merong fixed rate, some places mas mahal pa yung water nila sa electricity. So it's also important to ask them about those things. So in my case, I was able to find an apartment na about 10 to 20 minutes away to town. Pero pag traffic, let's say umaabot na siya ng 30. Pero what I like about it here is that sobrang lapit lang niya sa jeepney line. That's why I didn't mind na medyo malayo siya. Kasi sobrang lapit sa jeepney line. Tapos marami namang dumada ang taxi. And it's also important to consider that. Kasi lalo na pag may emergencies and things like that. Kasi... A lot of places here are very uphill. So, parang kung sobrang layo mo pa sa sakayan, pagod ka na, haggard ka na, <laughs> hindi ka pa nakakarating sa pupuntahan mo. I honestly think apartments is like one of the better options, at least for me, kasi you have the freedom to cook, to bring visitors, especially if your family will come over to have a vacation. Walang problema. And also, you can decorate your space however you want. Kasi with other spaces, more often than not, ayun na nga, furnished na siya. So you're tied to have those furniture na. Another thing is walang curfew, usually pag apartment. So you have that freedom to like work outside. Especially for me, I work at night. So sometimes I do want to work outside then. And I won't have to worry, you know, about curfews, dealing with the guards and things like that. That also means na walang ang guards na you have to deal with. But... You have to be aware of your safety. You know, you have to lock the doors, the gates all the time. And no one's gonna do that for you except yourself. So those are things that you really have to be responsible for. So the price range when it comes to apartments naman can go as low as 5,000 and maybe even up to 20,000 depending on how big you're looking for. And of course, as I said earlier, location always matters here. And and dami kong nahanap na magandang apartment pero nasa Loacan sila, tapos nasa Asin Road, Leonila Hill. Sobrang lalayo naman na. So it's really up to you. I mean, if work from home ka and if you want to move to Baguio, that's okay because you won't have to go out all the time. So it's really a matter of priorities as I mentioned earlier. And the other option that we have here is condominiums. There are also a lot of condominiums here. And the thing with that is, pag malalapit yung condominium sa town or sa center, a lot of them use them mostly for transient or short-term rentals. So in that way, it can be very competitive rent. And because of that, mas mahal syempre. There are condos near the center na umaabot starting at 33,000 which is insane and that's a studio and hindi pa included doon yung utilities mo monthly dues and everything but if your priorities include being close to the center while also having access to like the gym and some of them already have like a supermarket sa baba and also of course the security that it provides that can also be a good option for you pero meron rin namang mga condos from malalayong lugar like there's Bakaking there's um, Leonila Hill as well, may magagandang mga condos na hindi ka nun kamahal, pero ayun na nga, medyo malayo siya. I actually also considered living in condominiums, pero the issue that I have is a lot of the furnitures are fixed as well. So it's not as customizable in a way, like, and it's very small. And ayun na nga, so... I, when I found this place of mine, I was very grateful because I was able to customize the space and things like that. So it all really comes down to your preferences. And if you're moving to Baguio, there are moving options available. Pwede kang mag hire. I saw one from Facebook. Um, nung nagmove ako sa place na to. It is Baguio to Baguio lang do. Pero tumatanga friends sila from other places. Um, Baguio to Baguio, it costs around. Um, 1,800. I will link down their page down below. But also, there are other options such as Transportify or Lalamove. Pero medyo mahal kasi sila. Kasi pag pinadala mo yung gamit mo, 
lalo na kung dadaan sila sa expressway, sagot mo yung toll nila papunta siya kapabalik. So, that can be very expensive, especially if you're coming from Manila or even farther places. Then, another option that you have is Victory Liner. Meron silang drop to go and it is very affordable in my opinion, although it depends on, of course, the weight of the items as well as the declared value. Pero yung friend ko kasi recently, nagpadala siya ng items from Baguio to Cubao. I think it was around 90 kilos, pero mostly clothes lang naman. And it cost her less than a thousand. I think nasa six or eight hundred lang. So, it is very affordable. I will also link down their page below um, for you guys to be able to inquire to their services as well. Plus, mabilis rin naman yung service nila. Like, they do have like same day um, transportation. So, that won't be an issue. Okay, now let's talk about some of the things that I learned that I didn't really know when I was living in Manila. Like, um, not all rentals are available online. Like, when I was looking for a place to stay here, feeling ko na kapag inquire na ako sa lahat ng nakita ko sa Facebook. But that's not all of it. That's like just a portion of the available rentals here in Baguio. It is better if you will just come here and try to walk around and to also be able to see the neighborhood if that's the place that you want to stay in. So that's very important. And pag nagtanong-tanong ka, marami namang magtuturo sa'yo ng mga available rentals in the area. Then, as much as sobrang cute ng mga wooded furniture and everything, if it is not cured or treated, um, it just won't work here. There will be molds. And molds have I learned so much from them. I know I am surrounded with wood right now, but thankfully, these are cured and treated wood naman. So, that I don't have to worry about. Kasi as in, pati sang kalan na wood magbo-molds dito. So, those are things to consider dahil sobrang uh, moist nung weather. Ganun yung lamig niya rin kasi. And no matter what you do, I feel like there will be molds. And I feel like I've tried to search all the other ways that I can fight it. Um, it is very important to change your sheets as often as a week, probably. Like, I change my sheets weekly now, parang before, mga bi-weekly naman. Pero it's better to change siya weekly kasi natitrap yung lamig dun sa bed and that could cause molds and it's the worst place to get molds because that's where you sleep in. Dun ka nagpapahinga and it could be very detrimental to your health and your safety. And I know malamig and you want to bring your comforters, your duvet, but... I found that that doesn't work very well here as well. Kasi nga, makapal siya. Natitrap niya yung lamig dun sa bed. And paghiga mo, alam mo yung parang medyo basa pa siya sa lamig. So, that could also be a root of molds. So, just a warning, you know. <laughs> I feel like you can feel my fear of molds. But I've also come to terms with it that wala na akong magagawa. I just have to work my way around them. And with that, I also do have the humidifiers. Meron ng mga portable na para silang um, yung mga nilalagay sa cars. Tapos meron din ako ng sinasaksak talaga for my room. To be able to protect my mattress. Kasi, you know, it's very important nga. Kasi it's where I sleep in. So, those are just things or ways that I do to try and prevent molds. And there's also a product that saved my doors. Kasi my doors, they're new. Pero parang Alam mo yung typical na wood door, so hindi siya treated, so nakakita ko ng molds. And this product from Mr. Muscle is such a savior. So kung hindi mo talaga kaya, especially with tables and such, kung wood yon, So make sure to wipe it with the Mr. Muscle and just leave it for a couple of hours. And so far, it has worked for me. And just make sure to maintain that, like wipe it again like every month or so. When it comes to groceries naman, I have learned that while merong malaking public market sa my town, sometimes it is actually relatively cheaper na mamili sa mga small vegetable fruit stands near your place. Kasi the thing with the public market, dun na rin nagpupunta yung mga tourists. So sometimes, medyo mas mahal na rin like yung mga fruits nila and vegetables. So support your local neighborhood market na rin. Like for me, I was able to buy uh, my fruits 
sa malapit lang and sobrang mas mura niya talaga and parang mas fresh pa nga eh. And if you're going to the supermarket, uh, merong options, merong Victoria Supermarket sa may Magsaysay, tapos merong Robinson Supermarket sa may Session Road, tapos meron ding the Marketplace sa may Leonard Wood. There are a lot of other smaller um, supermarkets available besides pa yung mga local mart sa different areas. So, so it's important to consider those places as well kasi grabe talaga sa SM. Like, hindi pong mga inaabot ka talaga ng one hour or so sa pagpila pa lang sa counter. And if you decide to opt naman to just always eat outside, um, the common price range when it comes sa mga karinderia is around 75 to 100 pesos. Tapos, ano siya, meron ka ng meat and meron ka ng veggies. <laughs> so, it's a full meal naman eh talaga. So, that's a really good option. If you guys want me to try and recommend some restaurants I've tried, some karinderias na um, very worth it talaga, um, just let me know. Maybe we can do a video about it. There you have it. I think that's all we have for today. And if you guys have any questions pa, just leave them down in the comments below. And I will try my best to answer each and every one of them. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel. And leave some comments down below. Send some love. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!